In the first row, the objective is to find the sum of the population of all countries beginning with n. So if we type in equal sum if, the first parameter is the range which is tested against the criterion. Since the countries are being tested in this criterion, we should choose the range A2 to A15. The second parameter is the criterion, and that is the countries that begin with N. And the way we write this is we put open quotation, N, asterisk, close quotation. This asterisk is a wild card, and this is how we write beginning with N. Our third parameter is the range that needs to be summed, and the range that needs to be summed is the population range. So we select the range B2 to B15, press enter. We got 9,998,000. So if we do a test and we sum up the countries which are Norway and New Zealand, we also get the same answer. The second row is asking us to find the sum of the population of all countries ending with E. Type in equal sum if, open parenthesis, the first parameter is the range that is being tested, the criterion range, and it's the countries. So we choose the countries, A2 to A15. What is the criteria? Ending with E. So the way we do this is that we put the asterisk before and we put E, close quotation. The third parameter is the range that needs to be summed and that is the population, so we choose B2 to B15. We close the parenthesis, press enter, we got 20,515,000. We can check the accuracy by summing these ourselves. The countries that end in E are Zimbabwe, Singapore, Suriname. 20,515,000, there we go. In our third row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries containing land. We can use the sum if function equals sum if, open parenthesis, and the criterion range is the country that's being tested. So it's Canada. We make this an absolute reference. What is the criteria? The criterion is countries containing land. So we put an asterisk before, L-A-N-D, an asterisk after and close the quotation. The third parameter is the range that's being summed and that's the population range. That's B2 to B15. Absolute reference, close parenthesis, and we got 13,221,000. Let's do a check. What are the countries that end in land? Switzerland, New Zealand, and we've got Cayman Island. There we go, 13,221,000. The fourth row is asking, what is the sum of the population of all countries containing six characters? So countries that contain six characters only, we type in equal sum if. The first parameter is the criteria range, which is the country that is being tested. So we choose the country, A2 to A15. How do we write the criteria containing six characters? Open quotation, one, two, three, four, five, six. We put question mark, close it. And the third parameter is the sum range. So we choose B2 to B15, close parenthesis. 51,933,000. If we check this equals sum, we've got Canada that has six characters, Sweden, Norway, and there we go. We've got that answer. Let's take a look at the dates tab for examples with dates. In this table, we have a column with dates the first row in this table is to find the sum of the population of all countries for the dates before April 1st, 2017. So if we use the sum if function equals sum if, the first parameter is the criterion range and the range tested is the date range. So we choose A2 to A15. We make this an absolute reference. The second parameter is the criterion, which is the dates before April 1st, 2017. So to do this, we type in open quotation, less than, and we put 2017 forward slash 04 forward slash 01, close the quotation. The third parameter is the sum range, the range that needs to be summed, and that's the population. So that's C2 to C15 in this case. Close the parenthesis. 
we got 26,639,000. Let's do a test. Everything before April 1st, 2017. This is sorted. So April 1st, we've got the same answer. In the second row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries for the dates after September 1st. We do equal sum if. Our first parameter is the criteria range, the range that is being tested, and that is the date range. So we choose A2 to A15 and make it an absolute reference. The second parameter is the criterion, and we are asking after September 1st, 2017. So to do this, we type in quotation greater than 2017-0901. The third parameter is the range that needs to be summed, and that is the population C2 to C15. Close parenthesis. We got 10,057,000. Let's do a quick check. Everything after September 1st. September 1st, that would be this. That matches. In the third row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries on the 13th of March, 2017. So we use the SUMIF function equals SUMIF. The first parameter is the criterion range or the range that's being tested by our criteria, and that is the date range. So this is A2 to A15. We make it an absolute reference. The second parameter is the criterion, and that is equal to March 13, 2017. So we can type that in as equal 2017, 0313. The third parameter is the range that's being summed, and that's the population. So that's C2 to C15. Close the parenthesis, press enter, we've got 14,308,000. Let's test this, equal to sum, everything on March 13th. That's these two here. We've got the same answer. In our fourth row, we want to find the sum of the population of all countries not on the 13th of March 2017. So we can use the SUMIF function, we type in equal SUMIF. The first parameter is the criterion range, the range that's being tested, and that is the date range. So we type in A2 to A15. Our second parameter is the criterion, and that is not equal to May 1st, 2017. So let's type in, open quotation, not equal to 2017 0501 close quotation. The third parameter is the sum range, the range that's being summed, and that's the population. So that's C2 to C15. Close parenthesis. We've got 121,076,000. Let's do a quick check. Sum of everything that's not me first. And we got the same answer hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video!